Today we're gonna to be making this paper snowflake. We're gonna cut out designs into this and it's gonna have a lot of intricate designs. And although your designs will be a little bit different than mine, they will still be intricate and neat looking. Now to do this, we're gonna use our square piece of paper that I've already pre-cut for you. If you wanna do this at home and you don't have a square piece of paper, all you have to do is take one corner of your paper and we're going to line this top edge to the left side edge. So I'm gonna pull this top corner until this top edge of my paper lines up with the left side edge. And it makes this shape here. Then you simply cut off the extra paper and you're, you have a square piece of paper. When you open it up, it looks like a diamond, but you just turn it a little bit and there you go. You've got a square piece of paper. On our square piece of paper, the first thing that we're going to do is in the left side, we're going to write the number one. On the right side, we're going to write the number two. Okay, number one on this side, number two on that side. Then I'm going to flip the paper over just like this. So I still have the one over here and I have the two over there, but now they're on the back. Then I'm going to fold this paper over this way so that now the one is up here in the top left corner. I'm gonna fold it down. So you can see the one is up here on the top left corner. Then I'm going to fold it down. So I'm folding that one down to this corner. And I see the two now, but the two is upside down and it's on the back side. So let me show you that one more time. This one is gonna come down here to this corner. I fold it down like this. So now I see the two, it's upside down, but it's over here in this corner. Then I'm going to turn that two just like this. So I see the two is over here on the left side. So here was our two down here in the left corner and I've just twisted it so it looks like a diamond now. And the two is over here on the left side now. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna fold down this top corner to the bottom corner, just like this not the two, the two stays there. I'm going to fold this top corner to the bottom corner. So the two is over here on the left side. I'm gonna pull this top corner down to the bottom corner. Just like that, making a triangle. Okay, so this is what it looked like before. I have the two over here on the left side. I pulled the top corner down to the bottom corner. Then, I'm going to shift it, sliding it like this, so that it's pointing to the left. So it looks like a triangle that's pointing to the left. If I open it up, the two is now at the top with the folded line going right down the middle. So it was like this, where the two is over here on the left side, but I've shifted it to where it's pointing this way. I open it up, I can see the two there. Okay, I'm gonna close it back to where I can't see the two. So the two is up here, I'm closing it. Got it nice and folded like this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my CD, I'm going to place it just below this right here. So we can see that this is right here, this part here, this side doesn't open up. I'm going to place my CD right there. I'm going to draw this line here just like that. This top half of the triangle, I'm going to cut off, and I'm gonna keep this bottom half. So it was turning, it was pointing left. If I open this up, the two is still on the inside up at the top. I'm going to cut off the top half by cutting along that line all the way off. So this is what it looked like before and then I cut off that top part. You can double check to make sure you did it right by opening it up, unfolding it, and it'll look like this. So let's fold it back. Okay, now we want to cut all of those intricate designs that we saw in there. So, you can cut all sorts of things. You can do like a half heart here, and it'll wind up turning into a whole heart. 
because everything that we draw along this uh, this fold here will wind up doubling itself. So if I drew uh, this shape here, it's going to double itself too. I've got the half heart, but I can't come all the way across. So if I was drawing this design, I can't come all the way across or cut everything above. So I got to stop here, just like that. Let me erase. We can cut from this side too, but it can't touch one of my designs on the other side. So I can come all the way over here and I can come here, but it can't touch that heart, that half heart design. I've got to have this space holding the whole thing together. Triangles always look really nice, um, or even just little thin triangle lines here, or even something like this. Okay, now that I have my design, I'm gonna cut it out. Remember, that one design can't touch the other design or it'll just fall to pieces. Now, I am gonna cut this all the way out though so that it looks like this. But notice, if I cut this part off right here, then it would just, the whole top piece would just fall off. I can cut this triangle here, but if it touches that piece that I just cut out, then the top will fall off so I can't I can't touch them. Notice I had to keep that space right there. Okay, this is what it's looking like right now. I'm gonna cut that half heart out and I'll show you what that half heart looks like once I cut it out. Okay, there's the half heart. If I open it up, looky there, it's a whole heart. So let me fold it back so I can finish cutting it out. You don't have to draw your designs first, but it kind of helps you with deciding how you want it to look in the end. very bottom corner here I'm actually going to cut one piece all the way off like that then we simply open it up and it helps if you fold it open and flatten it out each time you open it up you flatten it out that will help so I'm gonna open it up I'm gonna flatten it out just like that and you can see how now I have two hearts then I open it up again and you can see I have one two three four hearts and there we go, we have a design. I'm gonna make another video showing you how to do more intricate designs like this one here, which when I open it up, it makes the bat symbol, Batman symbol. And then you open it up again and it makes four of those Batman symbols, just like so. And you can see that I also added some fancy to the outside. But I'm going to do that on another video. I want you to first learn how to do something pretty simple like this. I hope you have fun and uh, good luck with your own designs.